And how do you get along with Mrs. Danvers? Well, I... I've never met anyone quite like her before. The character of Mrs. Danvers in Alfred Hitchcock's 1940 film Rebecca is an excellent example of how queer visibility manifested on screen during the mid-1900s under the production code. While denotative depictions of queerness were prohibited, directors and producers could get away with implying that a side character was queer if they also condemned this part of their identity. One way this was done was by making the villains or antagonists in stories gay. And she must resent you bitterly. Why should she? Don't you know? She simply adored Rebecca. Gays as predatory twilight creatures were a matter of style and personal interpretation in the horror films of the 1930s. Mrs. Danvers is supposed to be an off-putting character. This is alluded to through both her style and manner of speech and her long gazes and close following of Max's new wife. One scene in particular near the end of the film highlights this phenomenon, when Mrs. Danvers takes the new girl on a tour of the late Mrs. De Winter's room. By the end of the scene, the girl is crying in a mixture of fear, discomfort, and jealousy. This is where I keep all her clothes. You would like to see them, wouldn't you? Feel this. Mrs. Danvers' obsession with Rebecca is met with confusion, disgust, and even fear from the other characters in the story. I keep her underwear on this side. They were made specially for her by the nuns in the convent of St. Clair. I always used to wait up for her, no matter how late. Sometimes she and Mr. DeWinter didn't come home until dawn. A rather somber character most of the film, Mrs. Danvers only shows emotion and affection when talking about Rebecca. Everyone loved her. When she'd finished her bath, she'd go into the bedroom and go over to the dressing table. Oh, you've moved her brush, haven't you? There, that's better. Just as she always laid it down. Come on, Danny, hair drill, she would say. I'd stand behind her like this and brush away for 20 minutes at a time. And then she would say, Good night, Danny. And step into her bed. I embroidered this case for her myself. And I keep it here always. Did you ever see anything so delicate? Look, you can see my hand. Now, the guys who ran that code weren't rocket scientists. They missed a lot of stuff. And if a director was subtle enough and clever enough, they got around it. <laughs>